This is News Trail, your daily dose. It's Thursday, 22nd December 2022. Welcome to News Trail. I am Adetola Coyote. The federal government has created a digital application, iMark, which will enable citizens monitor and evaluate capital projects in real time, including contract terms and contractors. Launching the digital application at the Council Chamber of the State House, President Muhammad Buhari says the innovation will help forestall the practice of abandoning projects as all stakeholders, including communities, civil society organizations, MDAs, and citizens can interact on one platform. iMark will provide a regular update on the status of capital projects across the country through bottom-up interactive processes, cost, structure, benefit, and framework for maintenance after completion. Meanwhile, the Federal Executive Council has approved the Sherry North Road. That's the connecting road between Lagos and Ogun State, linking the Lagos Ibado Expressway. Minister of Works and Housing, Babatunde Fashola, also announced the award of a section of the Minakutangura Road to be funded under the tax credit scheme. Fashola also hinted that the federal government has approved the payment of 4.7 44 billion naira pensions and gratuity for staff of the defunct Mortgage Finance Limited. The Central Bank of Nigeria has announced an upward review of its cash withdrawal limits directive. Individuals can now withdraw 500,000 Naira cash weekly, and corporate entities can now withdraw up to 5 million Naira cash across all channels, including ATMs and POS terminals. The Apex Bank says the directive becomes effective from January 9, 2023, saying the adjustment was based on feedback received from stakeholders after its initial announcement on December 6, 2022. The directive created controversy and outrage from millions of Nigerians and members of the National Assembly who disapproved the policy until now. Governor Babajide Sonwolu has marked the completion of the civil infrastructure of the first phase of the Lagos Rail Mass Transit. That's the blue line, reiterating government's commitment to institutionalizing an intermodal transport system in Lagos. This first phase, which is a 13-kilometer stretch from Marina to Maltu, with four mega stations and an iconic one at Marina, is expected to move about 200,000 passengers daily. And when fully completed, the 37-kilometer will convey 500,000 passengers passengers daily. Excited about this development, Governor Babajide Sonwulu gave kudos to his predecessors for having the vision and running with it. While he's glad that his administration is helping to build the future for the younger generation now. When full commercial operations of the train begins, it will be electrified and it will be a no-go area, especially for vandals. Mr. Governor announced that the groundbreaking ceremony for the Phase 2 will take place on the day of the commissioning of the first phase of the Blue Line, which will be done by President Muhammad Buhari in January, all things being equal. And that's it on News Trail for today. Many thanks for connecting. Please do not forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to YouTube channel News Trail. And always remember, do as you will be done by. Have a fantastic day.